Orlin stuck it in me and I wasn't ready. I didn't even prepare. And so I ended up making a mess all over the bed. So I had to take all the sheets off and I'm not okay. Like he, it, it's disrespectful or as my dietitian says, disrespectful <gasps> to stick it in someone when, when they're not ready. Luckily it didn't get on all the blankets and stuff and all the comforters, but still like it was disgusting. It was green and black at the same time, but I'm still going to have to wash everything later, but I'm too hungry. I have to eat first. Kind of explain this already on my other channel, but basically long story short, I lost 89 pounds. I gained 30 pounds then I gained 10 more pounds and I've been like, I'm still in the 300s and it is what it is. At least I'm not in the 400s anymore, but still like I'm still double the size I should be. Most people can tell that I lost weight just by looking at my face. I mean, you can tell, you can tell, but still like I'm not back to being a pencil, I'm still 357 pounds. Like th this, this is morbidly obese still. It's just going from morbidly, morbidly, morbidly to less morbidly. <sighs> so it is what it is. I'm just trying to be honest about it. Like it, I'm just going to eat and that's what I do. And if it's going to take me years. Oh, and I'm also doing 25% off my cameo from now until July 31st. So you have like four days left, just letting you people know. Anyways. So he's getting Popeyes. I got us uh, two regular chicken sandwiches and a bunch of french fries and we're just gonna eat. Even though they just came out with that blackened one like last month, um, I don't really want that one. I don't re really remember liking it. Everybody, I, um, so he's probably, he's probably gonna rant to you people. He was really upset at the Popeyes, which can you blame him? Popeyes is always that way. They, it, it, it's hostile. It's a hostile environment. You feel like they're about to just like, get you as you're buying from them i mean i know they're not making money if you spend money i mean they have to have their wages and salaries but still it's like there's no pride in where they are there's no appreciation that they have a job there's no honor in what they do for a living and i wasn't even there but i could already see what went down he just told me and i'm like yep <laughs> that's popeyes it's very sad because the food's good but the people there it's it's like the worst of america unfortunately could you imagine? Well, they didn't have spicy chicken sandwich, so we got the blackened chicken sandwich. I would have liked the original. Um, I did get extra, oops, I did pay for extra uh, dip on the sides, extra mayo. Of course we didn't get that. They did forget his shrimp. He had to go back in. Uh, biscuits, we got biscuits. I don't like biscuits, but you know, it does smell really nice though. Orlin said that they made him download the app and show him the order. Usually it's just like, hey, here's the number, the order number. They're like, well, we need to see the email. So, you know, it was with my email, so I forwarded it to him. I'm like, here's the email. They're like, well, that's not good enough. We need to see it on the app too. It's like, what are the chances of someone knowing the exact order number? It's like five digits. Unless you're like, God, you're not gonna, know. it's like pitting the lottery number. What are you talking about? If I have those digits, clearly I'm here to pick it up. And I have the email that it got sent to. She, uh, he showed the email. I love how I'm telling the story and he's not even here. French fries. How awful Popeye this. I'm just happy for my sp spicy chicken. And they still messed up the sandwich. Did they have original, do you know? Do you know if they had original? Because we ordered spicy and they said they have no spicy. The, the, what, you they... got what you got. I was scared she was going to attack me. Like, this lady literally made an Uber driver cry. Were they crying? Yeah. Yeah. How many pieces of chicken did you order? I don't know. You want to go and argue with them? No, I don't. I'm just curious. Okay, then be quiet. No, I'm, I'm thinking we got an extra. Because I said four. I'm sure she spat on it. And, but there's five. Ooh. So there's that. We have our french fries. They do have very nice french fries. Mm. Mm. They just need to fire the entire staff and rehire them and retrain them and have Chick-fil-A train them. Yeah, have the Chick-fil-A people do it. Yeah, literally. Could you ima imagine if Chick-fil-A tolerated? There's, you know, there's no tolerance at Chick-fil-A for, um, Cruelness in the customer service world. Um, do you it's just awful. What? No. Oh, no sweet heat. Uh, you're lucky you got the food. Uh, that's okay. I'm. I'm. What do you need? What sauce do you want here? Where's your shrimp? Matt? 
What sauce do you need? I, I knew this would happen. That's why I have mayo on the side. And then, <sighs> first you want me to bring a container? container? No. Let's get this way. And, um, let's see this one. Oh, those are your shrimps? That's, there's plenty of attitude in that one. So, they forgot the shrimp. I asked, I asked nicely. Can I so please have we're the supposed shrimp? To get, we're that? supposed to get three things of fries. There's two. Oh, well. There's one fry that came with the thing, and then you ordered two. There's a little bit of fries here. No, but that's your side of fries that you paid for with your shrimp. I'm not going back. So we're missing our large french fry and our dips. I'll write a letter. It's okay. They don't care. Like the Uber They do, because I, I did write to them, um, and I used my network's manager to CC, and my network's like, please make this right. And they, they refunded us, so... But isn't it sad that I have to like pull out the, pull out that, do you know who I am card? Which I didn't do. I was just like, hey, Kathy, can you please get, they, half the meal's gone. They're not working with us. All right. Well, this is our beautiful display. It does look really nice. Yeah, it does. Let's begin. Okay. Let's start with these chicken sandwiches. Not they messed up. They were supposed to be spicy. Okay. This is the new blackened one. Which I've never actually had. It smells burnt. <laughs> there it is. Blackened chicken sandwich. So you've never had this? Mm -mm. When did this come out? <laughs> mm. That's very good, actually. If their food wasn't good, I would never go to this place. Well, of course. Mm -hmm. That's very different. Mm. That's very different than what I'm used to. It's, is yours spicy? A little bit spicy. I have some extra mayo. <laughs> but you know what's good? The meat's actually cooked all the way. That's my biggest complaint with Popeyes. It's only happened to us twice. That's You're it. like two times too much. Right? That's enough. <laughs> two times too much, Nick. All right, I'm putting a little mayo on my mind. It's very spicy, and I kind of want to cool it down. Yeah, it is spicy. The you know what this reminds me of? The chicken reminds me of the of the Jack in the Box chicken nuggets. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. It really is very good. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <clears throat> That's better than their, their original. Mmm. <laughs> the quality of the chicken is really high. Oh, Ooh. And it's spicy. It is. And it's good. Yeah. Mm. That was really good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Sorry. I just had a... Did you order lemonade, by the way? Yes, I did. Okay. It came with your, your uh, one of these meals. All right. Oh, I really got to have a thigh. You got plenty of those on your body. Ooh. Moment of silence. Here we go. Here we go. Um, um, um. <laughs> so good. It's very good. I stopped caring about Jollibee more and more and more. I should have gotten gravy. Their gravy is so good here. Oh, they have gravy here, yeah. I'm sure they would have forgotten it. Have you had the fries yet? No. Have them. They're so hot and good and greasy and seasoned. Mm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, they're way better than... Checkers or Miami Grill. 
They're my favorite. They really are very good. Because you like chicken seasoning. Yeah, and it's not too much Cajun. Like, Five Guys has way too much Cajun. Yeah, and Five Guys is dry. Like, you're eating it, it feels like mealy potatoes. Very dry, yeah. These are greasy. If you like greasy, soft, soggy fries, this is what you go for. Mm. Oh my god. They're really good, actually. Try your shrimp for everybody. Mm -hmm. Here's my shrimp, which I had to fight for. They did not want to. They did not want to give them to me. Mmm. Look at these chips. Four five. Mm. <laughs> Add to the pile. So here's the shrimp. Because they want to see it. Take a look, people. Take a look. They have really good shrimp. I will take one. Are these bigger than usual? They're usually tiny. <laughs> It's, that's so sad because he's saying that's bigger than usual. <laughs> right? <laughs> they usually like. That's bigger than usual. They're usually <clears throat> very dainty. Can I have some mayo, sir? Wanna try? I do. Walmart. Walmart has the best things. How are we gonna put this this on? Let's put huh? a up here. Sure. Oh, just a little tiny portion. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, tartar sauce is basically just mayo with lime and dill. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Try biscuit balls for him, sir. I hate biscuits, but I'll have half. That's how it's a little less horrible. And then you need like butter and stuff, but I like the I like the buttered stuff side. That's good. That's oh my god! Say, yeah. Oh, that's really good. No. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm, waiting. Avocado. I'm waiting for it. You know, it's really not that bad. I was like, wait, because usually I I do this often. I'll have a biscuit. I'm like, oop, because everyone knows I hate biscuits. I hate dry food. I mean, I'm, it's really not bad. <laughs> You gotta eat it fresh though. There's a bunch there. Ooh. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, come on. Oh my goodness. Biscuits come through. They've been in mayo. The only other time that I've liked biscuits is breakfast biscuits from Burger King when they're really buttery. And I think one other time. Oh, Whataburger in, the breakfast, in their breakfast bowls. Let me try. Dip it in mayo, sir. Yeah, it's very salty, that's what it is. Mm. You know what would be good now? That vegan mayo. Because it'll keep us skinny? N no, because it's it's just so tasty. It has good flavor, yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's really good out there, too. Mmm. 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 Nick Akato having biscuits? These people are shocked. Mmm. <laughs> The ones that know that I don't like. Mm. The true fans. I swear, I only ordered four. They come a Okay, so we got a free five because they can't count. Mm -hmm. In exchange for the box of French rice, which would have cost probably about the same. No. Oh. Mm. And I'll see. We have enough rice. Would you consider Popeyes expensive compared to KFC? Um, I don't know about the same. This is this is a fire. Okay, well then, just bite right here. There's no bone. Like There's it. no bone. It's just flavor and grease. The, that's not where the bones are. It's good. It's very good. I'm just scared of chicken. <laughs> Ah! Uh, get the fats, and the grease. Mm, mm. Oh my god. Mm. Ah, it's so comforting. I 
feel bad for my friend Candy. When she goes to order her Popeyes, she can't select all thighs. I know she would want to. Oh, the heat is burning though. Ooh. But you can't on the, the website, all the delivery, they can't. So we actually split this up because I knew that would happen. And I also know that they run out of things very often. So I split it up where I was like, you know, oh, it's I'll do the um, app for the two chicken sandwiches, which they probably are going to have. At least they don't have one. They'll substitute with another, which they ended up doing. But then I'll, I'll have him do a separate order in person for the thighs, because I only want thighs. Mm. I love the lemonade. Is that a piano? It is. Piano? It is, yeah. You know how to play the piano. Is Mozart sponsoring Popeyes? No. <laughs> Which pianist is sponsoring? What's a really, really trashy one? Well, there's a band. Oh, you know what? This, this might be like a... This is a southern restaurant. It's probably like southern jazz bar. Because there's a trumpet. Could you imagine? <clears throat> And they only played like Rachmaninoff and Popeyes. I don't know, people don't like it. That's so funny. I was just singing Schubert um, Schubert Trio in the shower today. Schubert Piano Trio. That's my stuff. I was rock and rolling to it too. Just in my in my in my world in my zone. Duh, duh. Oh, it doesn't really go like that. <clears throat> He's eating the shrimp and ignoring you. I have another piece of shrimp. You better take some. Do you want um, this mayo? I got my own mayo here. I just want a piece because I have my thing. This is your thing. It's very good. Excuse me, yeah. I still have my sandwich. You ate that first, didn't you? Yeah, it was really good. This is the new spicy blackened. Ma'am, Candy, have you had this? The blackened one? Oh, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. It's so hot. You know, you can taste the chicken in the fries. I love these buns. Potato one? If every restaurant changed their buns to Popeye's buns, all the burgers would taste better. All the chicken sandwiches would taste better. Yeah. Look at that. That's potato butts, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. oh Orland, that was so good. I'm like, <laughs> it's it's carrying my spirit away. You don't have one of those. Yeah, it's gone, Pop. I just took it. <clears throat> Even the roll. Ah, you got those. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> no, we should make cheese fries. With the leftover fries. Oh, really? Like the animal style? Not animal style. I'm over that phase. I don't like pickles in most of my foods. I'll have a pickle on the side by itself. But when it's in stuff, ugh, I usually don't like it. There's a pickle in here, actually. I love pickles. Well, I don't like that. Well, is this coming? Is this like reacting already? Yeah. I feel it moving. So I have this thing. Oh my God, it's irritated so bad. More than when I started this video. And I didn't smother anything on my face. It's just in my body. My body reacts in that same spot. So let me tell you the very quick story. I have a rash right here. I usually cover it up with makeup if it's acting up. Well, anyways, um, my face used to be pretty. And then I got... 
And I never ate spice growing up. My family was never into spice. I am never liked hot sauce. Like, I would never eat this type of stuff all the way up until I started mukbangs, really. High school, college, young adult years, I never ate spice ever. And then I got really invested and intrigued and entertained by those Korean viral noodles because they were going viral at, on YouTube at the time. They still are, actually. I film them all the time on my main channel because everyone loves them. They're so delicious, but they're very spicy. But ever since I did that, this popped out of my face. And I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. I thought it was just me reacting to bad food because I just quit being vegan. Not to say that vegan's healthy per se, but I was eating more food groups, more fried food. All these other things that are not even food. You know, fried food's not even food sometimes. It's just so fried. And I, I didn't know what it was. I was like, it could be anything. You know what, Nick? It could be the spice. You're eating all these spicy noodles. Back then, I used to rub it on my face. It used to dangle off my mouth. Um, I used to slurp it, and I still do get it everywhere. Yeah. I thought maybe it was just rubbing and creating irritation on the surface of the skin. I think it's internal. I actually know it is. Here's, here's how I know why. Um, so long story short, I was like, well, it is what it is. I eat spice. I love spice. It's what I do on YouTube now. So uh, let's just get some makeup to patch it up, which I usually do now. It's just this one spot. And then I'll do like an orange juice cleanse or like a juice cleanse. Don't do juice cleanses. Especially green juice. Awful. Ah, uh, that was the worst seven days of my life. Torture, yeah. And I was, I, listen, I have nothing against fruits and vegetables. I used to live off them. The green juice is disgusting. It convince, don't even try to convince me. Those anti-nutrients, it's grass. The cleanup. It's just gross. Um, I think it could be fine for a little bit, but I just didn't like the experience at all. But I was really fat when I did it, but that's a different story. Um, but I've done things in the, in the past where I take out spice, I take out dairy for a little bit, I do a little juice cleanse, I, you know, I tidy up. I've been doing this for seven years, this mukbang stuff. And, um, it would go away. Mm -hmm. It would always go away. And it came, and then it would come back eventually. Well, here's how I know it's not just getting it physically on the skin, like the fire noodles when I get it all over my mouth. It's internal. Because when I was in Texas, <clears throat> I was spice-free, um, for like two weeks prior. And then the first... Five days, maybe even six days when I arrived because we were not filming. Um, that's a whole... We we had things to do. It wasn't really ready. So I, I was not eating my Takis. I was not eating anything. And then the day I had Takis, it came back. And then... Well, I, I didn't come back like immediately, but I felt like something pringling here. Like right now, it feels like someone's going like this on it. Well, it's flaking. Is it flaking? Well, it's been yeah. flaking. And it has a twin now. Well, this is this is the you know it's the twin towers. This is this is the bigger one. And, and then that evening, what do you need? Um, I went to a sandwich store, and I got a um, what you would call it, a steak and cheese sandwich. And I also got a spicy chicken sandwich. And halfway through that, I felt like ding 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 right here, right there. Ding 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 ding. ding. I'm like, oh, it hurts, it hurts. And I called you. I'm like, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Um, and now it's just like full-on busted here on my face. It hasn't left ever since. It's been a long time. I'm full, sir. Oh, I might leave you to be alone with them. Did oh. you wish you had more shrimp? I don't really like shrimp, but like you do. He loves shrimp. I love shrimp. No, I'm, I don't know. I'm very dainty today. Well, I'm gonna have one more piece to say goodbye to, so. Oh, they're so big. I'm so excited. Did I have a gummy today? Did you buy gummies? Oh, I forgot to buy gummies. It's okay, I have plenty of candy. Yeah, what? I got a bunch of candy. Okay. You did? Yeah. What candy did you get? Just the cookies. Cakes. You bought a cake? Yeah. You're not smashing that in my face. No, not your face, somewhere else. They can watch that somewhere else. <laughs> Orlin. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Let me get centered. <clears throat> this is for my friend Candy. It's so spicy, man. Oh, my God. Oh.
It hurts, but tastes, it feels so good. What's that song? Oh, it hurts so good. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? There's things in life that hurt, but they're good at the same time. I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Didn't even offer me any. That's okay. I didn't offer him. Um, well, I did. I did give him a piece of chicken. <sighs> Man, this is this is wicked. Wicked good. It's just so, it's so bad. I'm gonna be hurting all night. Like the spice hurts being digested. Chicken doesn't, fried chicken. Okay, if I have rotisserie chicken, which I used to have after the gym when I lived in South America, felt great, felt like a good, strong, real man. But when you bread it with flour and add sugar and dyes and all these, um, well not dyes, but even spices. A lot of spices by the store, it's not even pure spice. It's like mixture with other stuff. It's not even pretty pure, a lot of it. There's agents to keep it from caking. There's a lot of uh, problems that most people are fine with, but some people react to more so. But all I'm trying to say is chicken is not going to make me feel good. Fried chicken. But for a little bit of pleasure, I mean, my eyes roll back when I eat this. It's worth it. I just need some sweet heat sauce, some Wingstop Ranch. And I'm good. <sighs> but even without those things, I feel good. You guys, I'm catching my breath. I'm gasping for air. <clears throat> it's so wet. That is wet. Mmm. Wow. I'm gasping. <laughs> I did eat an entire sandwich and two, well, I didn't really clean the bones too well, but you know, good enough. Three, well, two and a half of chicken, fistfuls of french fries, a couple little shrimpies. I'm making cheese fries with these. And I also don't want to say these are the best fries ever, but they are up there in like my top five or something <clears throat> because they're consistently very good. But I feel like if I lived off these forever, I'd get sick of them. But I feel like if I lived off anything, I'd get sick of it. It's like sometimes I'm in a mood for very fresh, hot McDonald's fries. You can't beat them. Not 10, 15 minutes later, they turn to plastic. I don't know what's up in, with those. But when they're hot and fresh, they're amazing. And then sometimes I just want, um, like a potato wedge, even. Every once in a while. Oh, man. Honestly, I want another sandwich. Like I keep looking around like I, like this is good, but that sandwich. I'm not even paid to advertise. I'm like tooting up there behind. Blackened chicken sandwich, but I got the spicy version. It was very spicy. Yep, see how it's checked? But spicy. I'm not complaining that they didn't have the spicy chicken sandwich. I think I agree with him. That is magical. And they had something too. Um maybe half a year ago, maybe a year ago. Everything's kind of a blur at this point. They came out with a buffalo ranch chicken sandwich. And I don't like buffalo sauce. Most places I don't. And that was good. That was so good. I was blown away. I was like, wow, these are really tasty. 
But they, they took that off the menu real quick. Ah, there's still nine minutes left. I'll just chill with you for nine minutes, I suppose. Ah, oh my God, my breathing is so bad. <laughs> you guys liking your shirts? They hold up really nicely. This, is, this has been through the wash so many times. Oh my gosh. How many guys have high efficiency washers? How many? Um, those washing machines apparently are supposed to have the little itty bitty bittiest little spoonful, literally two spoonfuls of detergent. Two, that's it. And it makes no sense, but then I did some re research. And I found this article written by a washing machine technician. This person and his team their, their livelihood is based off fixing people's washing machines and dryers. And he said, back in the olden days, which is still really ingrained even with people like me, and I'm not old, but the machines I grew up with, you have this big tub. You fill it up with the top, you, you fill it up from the top, this big washing machine, right? This big white little box. Big little box, sorry. A big box. Metal. You open the lid, fill it from the top, it fills all the way up like, like a, like a, tub for a person. I remember just waiting for the water to fill up. It could take 20 minutes sometimes. It had an agitator in the middle. Go poo, 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 poo. And they would have you put like this much, like a huge, like literally a third. I would put a third of detergent. Honestly, sometimes if I felt it was really dirty, I would do half this cup worth of detergent. And um, that's how you did your laundry. And it came out smelling nice, things were clean, you threw it in the dryer, you were done. Then these new front loader <clears throat> HE, high efficiency, washers came out. And I still kind of kept that method. And, you know, it always says on the, on the box, like, use this amount, use this amount. And, you know, it's just conservative. And I would just, and then I'm like, my clothes are coming out and they're not very clean. And they smell weird. And I'm using so much detergent. And then I was like, oh, I did some research. This is prior. You should add some vinegar, just white cleaning vinegar to your fabric softener compartment. So when it's done the cycle, it'll throw the, the just a little bit. Like that's actually like a couple spoonfuls worth that I do. A couple spoonful, maybe two or three of white distilled vinegar. And you make sure you always put it on an extra rinse. <clears throat> and the vinegar and the extra rinse helps push off the to make it cleaner or whatever. <clears throat> and they were still coming out funky and there's these like little grease marks on my shirts and little white streaks and then the actual washing machine, the door that you swing open, on the inside there's all of these white streak marks. It's been like that for years until recently, well I haven't done it yet so I'll, I'll give you an update. I saw this video, I was doing some research. This company, like I said, they fix washing machines for a living. They said all that detergent is effing up your clothes and your machines and wasting your time and the environment and here's why these new soaps you know you go to costco get the tide get the kirkland get whatever um they're extremely concentrated soaps and he was like have you ever got some on your hand and tried washing off i'm like yeah i have and now I, it's very obvious you have to really try to get it off it's like dawn detergent it's really thick syrupy concentrated chemicals and you have to rinse it for a while way more than just like any other soap <clears throat> to get off that soap that's what's going to go into your clothes especially if you end up using half you know a half a cup worth like this whole big cup um the machines are only designed to take two to four spoonfuls that's it because it's so concentrated and they're not filling up with water they're using very little amount of water, just enough to wet them. And then what's cleaning them, you may ask? If it's not the soap and it's not the water, what is it? It's the friction from the movement of it. So the friction is pushing the soap off, a little bit of water, high concentrated soap, it's cleaning it. And they said less is more. I'm like, huh? They're like, it, it's gonna shock you. Next time do laundry, do two spoon spoonfuls. Do two spoonfuls, you will be shocked how much cleaner they come out. Better smelling, no more streaks. Um, and you know, you can do an extra rinse if you want. Put a spoonful of white vinegar in the, the later stage if you like. Um, I did people say, I did see people saying, oh, don't do the vinegar part because that will destroy your tubing and your piping. <clears throat> and then someone 
had commented under it saying, well, those are for old machines. Newer machines can handle that no problem. If you have an old machine, yeah, be careful. So I guess there's different, uh, <sighs> I can't even talk, I'm out of breath, but I'm really excited to try it. I'm gonna do two spoonfuls of the high efficiency Costco detergent. I'll still do, I'll still do my extra rinse, um, and I wanna see how things come out. And everyone was saying, thank you for the tip, it changed my life, thank you, oh my God, I'm, I feel so stupid, oh, I feel so dumb. How did I not to do, how did I not know not to do this? What's going on? And <clears throat> that's what happened. Uh, so, hopefully, and it's like, why would companies <clears throat> even allow you to have such a big old cup? On one hand, there's people that probably buy high, effic high efficiency soap, which most of them are by default. Like, I don't even think you can choose anymore. If you go to the grocery store and buy laundry detergent, Tide, for example, with the HE and one without it, I think they all just have it by default. It's all extra concentrated. Um, but a lot of people that don't have the newer front loader washing machines, a lot of people, especially older people, they probably, they're probably of the belief that it doesn't actually clean well. It might not actually clean as well, but the agitator does destroy your clothes faster over time. The threading, the stitching, um, you get way more lint. That's one thing I've noticed too, switching the types of laundry machines in my life. The old one where you fill from the top with the agitator, put that in the dryer and like, uh, you can make a pillow with the amount of lint that comes out. And it's because your washing machine is ripping up these fabrics. They, they, their longevity is cut in half. Whereas the, um, <clears throat> the newer machine, it also makes it drier too with the spin. Like you take them out and they're like almost dry. I'm like, oh my goodness. You put them in the dryer and there's no lint, like a piece. And it's like, is this working? What's happening? It was it's still, <laughs> I still try to get used to it. It's been years with this front loader machine, but still. Um, anyways, people are like, why would the company still offer it? A, there's probably people that still have the top loaders and that's what they want to do. But B, more so, it's probably they want you to use more, so you buy more. Right? Why would they, why would they say, get two spoonfuls? Four spoonfuls max. By the way, and I did the test, you take off one of those little lit, those little cups from the Costco or the Tide, I have both in there. You take it off and you actually see how many spoonfuls, because level one is for the basic load. It took 12 of these spoons to fill up to the level one line of the cup. And most cups have like one, two, three, and four, four lines. Most people fill up to the four. Some people just do a whole cup and throw it in. That's what I did. Um, and so it's crazy to go from a whole cup to two or three spoons, but I'm gonna do it. But <clears throat> even the level one line on that cup 11 of those spins. So, it's in the company's best interest. They don't care what the machines say. They don't care what the machines require. Their, their, their reasoning is probably, well, everyone has lots of different types of machines. Some old, some new, some front, some top. We're just providing you soap. Do what you gotta do. But they're gonna have those lines. And they're also, they're also gonna provide that cup so you get through their soap faster so you're going off to buy more of it. That's, <laughs> right? Like, why does the cup even have to be that big? It doesn't have to be that big. Especially if most people really do have HE machines now, all the laundromats, I'm pretty sure are front loaders, right? Most newer ones. I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't been to a laundromat for a while, but still, most people, I think, have moved away from the agitator top loading ones, most. Maybe it's 50-50. Still, half the freaking population that owns washing machines or takes it somewhere to do washing machines, that's half the country. I don't know. Make the cup smaller and say, if you have an older machine, use two of these cups. But no, they want everyone to put a lot in there. <laughs> tricky, tricky. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> but that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to catch my breath. And to pass away. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was so good. I want another blackened sandwich, please. It was just heavenly. But this is all really good, too. But my mind wants another one. Probably because I love the potato buns. <clears throat> love it. <sighs> Goodbye.
I'm like gasping for air. That's how you know this is really unhealthy. <clears throat> I'm getting phlegm. I'm literally breaking before your eyes. But you love it. <laughs> Goodbye. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below.